This, of course, is the great old song from Pinocchio. Pinocchio would be a good name for an opera, wouldn't it? Pinocchio. I've got no strings to hold me down, to make me fret or make me frown. I have strings, so now I'm free. There are no strings on me. Hi ho, the merry -o. that's the only way to be. I want the world to know, and again the world is me. I've got no strings, so I have fun. I'm not tied up to anyone. They've got strings, but you always can see there are no strings on me. You have no strings, your arms is free to love me by the side of tea. Yeah, 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 if you would woo, I'd push my strings for you. Got no strings to hold me down, to make me fret or make me frown. I've got strings, but now I'm free, there are no strings on me. Hi, old the merry -o. that's the only way to be. I want the world to know, nothing ever worries me. I've got no strings, so I have fun, I'm not tied up to anyone. They've got strings, but you can see there are no strings on me. You have no strings, come see, come sigh. You serve what there is, ooh la la. Yeah, 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 if you would woo, I've got my strings for you. Got no strings to hold me down, to make me fret or make me frown. I have strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on me. Hey, I hold a merry o that's the only way to be. I want the world to know, nothing ever worries me. I've got no strings, so I have fun, and I'll tie it up to anyone. They've got strings, but you can see, I have no strings on me. Down where the Volga flows, there's a Russian rendezvous. Where me and Olga goes, but I'd rather go with you. I've got no strings to hold me down, to make me fret or make me frown. I have strings, but now I'm free, there are no strings on me. I hold the merry -o. that's the only way to be. I want the world to know, nothing ever worries me. I've got no strings, so I have fun, I'm not tied up to anyone. They've got strings, but you can see there are no strings on me. Woohoo! Amen. Yeah. Good old Pinocchio. It's the story of the puppet that has no strings. But Pinocchio finds out that life is not quite as simple as that. There's always Jiminy the Cricket reminding him of his conscience, that you can't live entirely without strings. And when you try to live without strings, no strings attached, you quite end up being more tangled up than you could imagine before. In our service today, the strings are relationships. And I'd like you to look around. If, if you want to participate in what I'm going to be doing today, if you're sitting close enough that you can be within a string length of somebody, it'll be helpful. If you'd rather sit at the edges and just observe, that's fine too. Most of what I'm saying will, will make sense. But the, uh, the nice things about strings as relationships is you can feel them. You can feel them. And the first thing I'd like to say is some of our relationships are not with people. They're with things or they're with ideas. So, so take off your string. Take it off from around your neck for a moment. And... Um, Probably in the pew in front of you, there is a Bible, there's a, a, a hymnal that's sticking up a little bit. And wrap your, wrap your string around that and grab a hold of both ends. Just hold on to that. Just let the string hold on to your, your book for a moment. 
Now, think of how difficult will it be to get up and move to any other place in the sanctuary if you wanted to, if you're holding on to that string. Sometimes our relationships hold us into a place where we want to be and we really need to hang on to those strings if they're holding us in a place where we should be. But sometimes it's necessary to let go. And you might notice, I don't know which hymnal you wrapped it around. You might have wrapped it around the new one. And sometimes we get so attached to new ideas that we can't get back to the old. Or you might have wrapped it around the old hymnal. And sometimes we're so hung up on the old ideas that it's hard to get to the new ones. And there's probably another book out there. So go ahead and there's maybe a Bible in your pew rack. Move your string over to that. Put your, put your string around the Bible. Now that's, that's one of those anchors that's worth having. Because the, um, it anchors us to not just a book of words, but the strings that come from God, our relationship with God. Now, I'd like you, if you're sitting close to somebody and if you want to play the game a bit, hold on to one end of your strings and hand the other end to somebody who's near you. And if you end up holding more than one person's string, that's all right. We're in relationships with other people all the time. And I gave you more than one string because most of our relationships with other people are more than one kind of relationship. Terry's my wife. Terry's also my best friend. Terry's also the person who nags me once in a while when I need it. Sometimes one string of a relationship is a really rewarding working relationship. And at the same time, there may be another string of our relationship that, well, let's say it's gotten tangled over time, or maybe we're pulling in different directions. Maybe it gets kind of tight on us. And part of that is just part of living. We, we live in tension sometimes with those we love. But there are also times when relationships become so tangled that it's necessary to let go of one or two or three, four or four strings in the relationship. You may have done something to me over the years and I can think about that and think about it and I can get all tangled up in that string. But I may need to let go of that string and just let it be. That's called forgiveness. There's sometimes commitments that haven't been kept and there's two ends of that string. God forgives us. Sometimes we still hold on to our end of the string. Sometimes we still end up in tangled up in things that God may have forgiven us for long ago. Sometimes we may end up tangled in strings that are about things that we did long ago and uh, the other person has forgiven us but we're still tied up in it. It's important to let go. And as, as the parable told about, the, the parable about the, the servant who uh, was caught doing things he shouldn't, shouldn't and got way behind and he had commitments he couldn't keep and the master said, I'm going to throw you into prison and sell your wife and kids. The servant says, don't do that. And the master said, okay, I forgive you. But then that same servant would not forgive a much smaller debt from another servant. God forgives us of so much. The people around us forgive us of so much. Sometimes we just need to, to, to let go and forgive. Oh, you can let go of everybody else's string for a moment. The next part of this, you may have wondered what the chairs are for. I'm going to go out and move around a few chairs. And what I'd like to do is get people sitting in a circle. And a couple of you might be sitting kind of sideways on, 
on, on pews so you're facing in and some will be facing toward the front and some will be facing towards the back. I think I'll set up a camera towards this one near the front so if you don't like being on cameras you can sit in one of the other ones. Um, but again, if, if you want to play, come on in and, and have, a, have a seat in, in one of the circles and we'll do some, some more things with string. and in families and communities um, we have not just one-way relationships we have relationships that go in all kinds of different directions so you have an important responsibility hang on to the end of that <laughs> and you'll kind of have to pass this around to get it around but once it gets to the opposite side of the, side of the circle so grab a hold of it and then pass it around yeah, whichever way you want to go. I'll give you the responsibility of being in the line there. And welcome. Oops. I'll pass that around for a little bit. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let us join in singing, singing, Blessed Be the Tie That Binds. The verses are a little different at the end of the song, at the end of the service than they were during our prayer response time. So look for the one just before the benediction. Yeah. 
say before the benediction that Yosh has done a couple of very interesting things in the last couple of days and you should ask him about those. Go forth into the world realizing that these strings are around you wherever you go. Be thankful for your relationships with God, with Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and with each other. Amen.